Hello, it's the Five Foot Doctor. I am Dr. Shabawale, a foot and ankle surgeon that resides in Houston, Texas and practices there as well. If this is your first time, welcome. I talk about a lot of foot care stuff and things that you may benefit from. Today, I want to focus on hammer toes and toe coins. If this is something that you think you'd be interested in listening to, stick around with me and let's break this down. So what are hammer toes? Hammer toes are actually a deformity of the toe where it involves a couple of joints. If you know Notice our toes have three joints. They have this, this, and this. All right, so they have the one that articulates with the metatarsals, which are the very long bones that we have, and they also have these ones in between. For a better visual, I have this bone model, which shows this attachment right here, that's one, this other attachment right here, that's two, and this other one, that's three. So for a better visual, we have this joint, this is the metatarsal right here, and this is the first joint of the toe. This is the second joint of the toe, and this is the third joint of the toe. So you have one, two, three joints. Now what happens in a hammer toe is, instead of having a nice, flat, straight joint like this, or like this, what happens is this goes up right here, and we call that dorsiflexion of this joint and then this second one bends down so let's do it on the second one because that's one of the most common places we see it so you have a straight toe here but in the hammer toe this one is pointed up like this okay so through the side this is a side view is pointed up and then this one is pointed this way and so you're having a toe that looks like this all right so look at that and then it bends up. Now when you have a toe that looks like this, guess what this part, the top part here is rubbing on? This is rubbing on the shoe. And so a lot of the times when patients have hammer toes like this, they also have corns on this joint right there. And so when you look at it, a lot of the times, let's look at it from here, they would have something that looks like this. If you're looking at it from the top, it would look like this. If you're looking at it from the side, it'll look like this. It's hammered, meaning it's raised here and it bends. So they have toes that look like this, which rubbing right at this spot. That forms those corns. Well, why am I talking to you about what we call the biomechanics of a hammer toe and what is happening? Because essentially, if you have a toe that is curved like this, hammered, or so a hammer toe is just when, you know, you essentially have just this joint up and then when you have the other two involved so if it's just this joint as a hammer toe for the other two involved it could be a claw toe or a mallet toe so meaning right here hammer toe this two is straight this one is curved if it's just if it's this two is straight and this one is curved that is a mallet toe but if all three of them are curved that is a claw toe Either way, we see that multiple joints are involved and multiple bones are involved. So that means if you have a corn at the top of your toes or a hammer toe, we essentially have to fix the bones that are underlying the toe or you know, to be able to get it straight. So when you have toe coins and you're worrying, oh, how is this gonna get fixed? How am I gonna get rid of this toe coins? If they just cut out the corn and not fix the underlying issue, it's not going to work. We have to fix the bone and the joints and realign them to be able to get rid of that corn and prevent it from coming back. Now, what causes these things? There are a bunch of things that causes hammer toes or corn formation. Some of it could be, you know, if you have flat foot and your toes are trying to grab the ground when you walk, if you have high arch foot, that can happen as well. Sometimes it is from wearing chronic high heels, but it's not really the heel height as only, it's also the narrowing of the front of the shoe. When you crowd your toes in that shoe, then your toes get to squeeze and they don't really have a lot of room. And so they start to squeeze together and go up. And if you wear that constantly, it worsens the situation and worsens the issue. How can you get rid of hammer toes? Well, essentially, if you want to straighten out your toes, you will need surgery. If you want to remove the corns, you will need surgery. I understand that there are lots of over-the-counter medications and pads and acids or what have you, and they only serve to lighten the color of the corn or soften the corn. 
but if you still have that bend in your toe like we talked about it's still going to remain there and so we need to fix that underlying issue first before we can completely eradicate the corn now do you have to fix your hammer toes the answer is no if they do not hurt if they do not affect your activities of daily living, you're walking, you're standing, they're not causing pain, you don't have to. If you don't care how they look, you don't have to. Now, if you do care about how they look, if they hurt and they're affecting the shoes you wear, how you walk, how long you walk, exercises, then you should get it fixed and get it taken care of. If you are interested in having me do a consultation with you so we can see if this is going to be a good fit and a good procedure choice for you, definitely give us a call. My phone number as well as the website is down in the link below. Just click on it and book a virtual consultation if you're out of Texas and we'll be able to take care of you. I hope that this video had given you some insight about what hammer toes are and how they cause and affect corns and how you could possibly take care of it. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment down below. You can follow me on my other platforms. It's the Fly for Doctor as well. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.